Per Joe Cowley, the Chicago Bulls will talk with Nikola Vucevic about an extension during training camp. Question on the table today. Should the Chicago Bulls extend Nikola Vucevic and for how much? Let's talk about it starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago Bulls daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago Bulls, how Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. Uh, so... Joe, per Joe Cowley, the Chicago Bulls are planning on talking to Nikola Vucevic about a possible extension to stay here with the Chicago Bulls. A lot of what AK has preached has been continuity, and Vooch is a major part of that continuity. He's your five. He is an excellent center in the NBA, around the NBA, right? And if you're trying to go for a championship run, he could be that piece that helps you get there. He may not be the piece that puts you over the top, but he definitely has the ability to help you get there. Now, Vooch has been a player that has been heavily heavily criticized in Chicago land area right he's been the big man he's been the ire of a lot of bulls hate right and so I think right like when you look at Booch's numbers you have to look at how he ranks up against the rest of the NBA and the thing is you have to ask yourself is he better or, or I'm sorry you have to ask yourself can you find someone better than him if you don't extend him because you don't want to start going backwards here and so i think you have to look at the fact that listen booch is eighth in rebounding in the entire nba he's seventh in double doubles in the entire nba he's third in scoring uh this is just among centers in the entire nba he also comes in six when you're talking about assists per game among centers in the entire nba so when you're looking at it right you have a guy that's one of the best scorers among centers one of the best rebounders among centers one of the best passers among centers so I think that it's pretty obvious that he's a guy that you want to extend on this team. And, and when I'm looking at what Vooch did last season, right, and that's what you got to look at. Is his game declining? That's the biggest question. Let me know in the chat below. Do you guys think that Vooch's game is declining? Is his game declining? You also have to look at the fact that Vooch, while he may not be the most dominant center in the NBA, while he may not be the guy that no matter what, right, he's going to be a 25 and 10 player. You also have to look at the fact that next to Vooch all season was a 6-4 shooting guard playing the power forward position and how that's going to affect you going into that. Also, the fact that there wasn't really a backup big man on this team that could help Vooch with anything outside of Patrick Williams till he came back, right? There was basically no big man. Tristan Thompson essentially didn't work out for the Chicago Bulls. That was, that was, a, that was a bad signing by AK in my opinion, right? And then when you're looking at kind of what else was on the roster, you're, you're talking about Tony Bradley. So it, it's like uh, uh, um, Billy Donovan said, right, when, when Sam Smith asked him about bringing guards off the bench first, who do you want him to play? And just like that, right, like Booch had a lot, just like DeMar, Booch had a lot asked of him. He was asked to be the re best rebounder, one of the best scorers, one of the best assist men. He was essentially our best passer at points of the season once Lonzo Ball went out. I mean, so for me, right, I think it's a no-brainer that you extend Vooch. Now, I will say this, the caveat to all the Vooch haters out there, $20 million a year ain't the answer. Now, before I continue with the video, I do want to know how you guys feel, man. Should the Chicago Bulls extend Vooch? Let me know in the comments below and make sure that you guys hit that like and subscribe. Almost 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So please hit that subscribe button, man. Make this the number one channel for Chicago sports on YouTube. Appreciate you guys for showing love. Now, where do we want to find that sweet spot for Vooch, right? I've just given you all the numbers. You're talking about him as one of the best centers in the NBA, but... You're also talking about a guy who's 31 years old. Big men tend to break down a little bit quicker. Now, listen, Vooch still is, uh, is a guy that had that shot last season. The shot was a little down. The percentages were worst of his career. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention his defensive rating. It was a 109 last year, also worst of his career. But Nikola Vucevic has been as high as a 101, 103 defender in some seasons. So I think that that's something that with a little bit of backside help as well will help him out. But when you're looking at what you want him to make, right, it's more for me 
about age than the actual player itself, right? He's 31 years old. I'm talking to you about a three year deal, maybe coming in at around 15 to $17 million a year. I'm not paying him $20 million a year because of the age that's already attached to him. It fits me, right? Like AK might have a completely different thing. He's going on the continuity thing. Maybe $20 million a year is that continuity that you're looking for, right? But for me, I think 20 million a year is way too much for a guy like Nikola Vucevic at this point. Um, I would I would say even if you got a deal done where you're talking about front loading that and maybe you you work it out where he gets a lot one year and then it kind of works itself out on the back end. Uh, I would sign Booch. I would try to re-sign Booch around 45 to 50 million over three if possible so that you can renegotiate when he's around 34 years old. I think at that point, right, your your goal in that situation is, okay, if he's at this point 34, that means Zach Levine is 31. Uh, um, Lonzo Ball's 27, Patrick Williams 23, right? Like you should see some of these young players, if this thing has worked out, you should see some of these young players kind of taking that step to the next level. And so I think that that is a good age to kind of try and work out a contract at maybe even a two year deal, give them 15 a year uh, or 20 a year in that situation. Maybe if it's just a two year with a player option on that second year, which is kind of what we've seen the Bulls do. Um, but if I was good, if I was going to try and re-sign Boots on a deal I'd probably go around 17.5 mil a year over three this is the average right you can front load or back load however you want I would rather front load but probably about 17.5 million a year um, over the next three I'd give him a player option in that third year if he wants to opt in he can if he wants to opt out that's up to him as well right um, and and because of that right you're essentially doing a two-year deal deal where if he's kind of a shell of himself by that point and he's a I mean a shell of Nikola Vucevic is probably still 10 and 10 if he's a shell of himself at that point hopefully that deal is a little bit less money and so you feel better about okay listen opt in we'll get it done or even at that point right 10 and 10 players still got some game maybe we can move on from you at that point that would be the kind of deal i would be looking for from vooch in that situation that would put you at about a 52 maybe they work out a 55 to 60 somewhere in their million extension i like i said 20 mil a year for me would be a little high he's making 22 right now and i uh, coming into this season it's going to be the last year of him making 22 million i feel like that might be probably the range that they end up settling out around and i wouldn't be here's the thing i still wouldn't be upset if that's the case right because every metric you look at is a top 10 center in the nba some metrics he's a top five center in the nba and so you have to like what you see out of nikola vucevic outside of just the you know there, there's people that focus in just on what he did last season and say that's the player that he is but they don't look at the fact that yeah well what was around him what was the big man help that he had i'll tell you this joel Embiid's numbers uh, uh um look a little different and his play looked a little different when he didn't have andre drummond backing him up because all the sudden right he was exhausted going towards the end of those games now was he still dominant was he still getting big no absolutely right but but the difference in his game to me was visible because he didn't have that guy that he could go sit on the bench and get a real rest Nikola Vucevic was in the same situation last season the, who, who are you gonna put in Tony Bradley is that what the, is that what you were doing we were putting Nikola Vucevic on the bench to put in small forwards essentially at the center position Derek Jones Jr. spent some time there we didn't have this is before we had Tristan Thompson right uh, uh um I mean, we, we saw a, a mix of guys spending time at that center position off the bench because Tony Bradley just kind of became unplayable last season. So I think that Vooch should be re-signed. I think that he will be extended. Um, I think the Bulls get a deal done with him in training camp. What that deal is going to be, that's yet to be seen, but it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I want to know how you guys feel, man. What kind of contract would you give Vooch? Would you extend Vooch? Should the Chicago Bulls extend Vooch? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat the designer back at it again to continue watching our chicago bulls content click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below y'all stay safe out there chicago peace